Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cami from Cami's Craptiques. I'd like to start off this video by thanking everyone who has watched any of my videos, all my loyal viewers and subscribers. I really love all of you. You can't imagine how much it really means to me. I am trying to build my audience so I keep on going, obviously. So if you watch me, and you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. I love the comments. Tell a friend. You know, share the video for me if, if, you, if you like. Um, but anyway, today's video is going to be a, a five-piece shoebox. I ordered again a size seven because that's what I wear. And, you know, I like to sometimes get a new pair of shoes through thread up. So I already opened, you know, I cut open the tape. I did not look in here yet. What you see for the first time is what I'm going to see. So it comes in a box about this size. So far, every one of my five-piece boxes came, uh, five-piece shoe boxes have come in this size. Okay. So I'm going to open it up. Okay, so, ooh, earthquake, right? Um, so this is what it looks like. And I will give you a first glimpse right here. And these videos are always super quick. So I'm going to just start off with the first pair that's right on here, right on top. Um... I guess they originally were going to rubber band this. Um, oh, let me tell you where the box came from. The box came from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. Okay, so these are a pair of J. Crew Chunky Heel Platforms sandals. They do have some wear right over here, which is kind of expected, you know, walking. It's so close to the ground. I just want to see, make sure everything is okay, being that there's a rubber band here. Um, yeah, it looks like it's okay. So as I said, there's, you know, all the shoes in this box, if I didn't say it, but I believe I did, is a size seven. That's the size I wear. But these will be, you know, they're up for resale. Okay, so... I want to say that's probably a three, three and a half inch heel, probably about a two inch platform, maybe an inch and a half or something. And the detail on this, it looks almost like a roping, like a braided rope. So it, these are, these are cute. Um, whoops. So there's minimal wear on the heels. Let's put it this way so you can see it better. Okay. So that's the first pair. Oh. Keeping my fingers crossed on this. I, I'm i going to I'm gonna keep going. But I, I see a pair of boots in there. And let me just say this. I hope they're not bare paws. Okay. So the next pair of shoes. Oh, these look pretty big are a pair of Steve Madden. They are, you know, they do need to be cleaned up all the heel. Um, this is the first time I ever got shoes that are rubber band. I, I hate that when I see it on the other YouTubers because I'm like, sometimes it like messes up your, your shoe, you know, the product. So these are Steve Madden. This is like a, no, it's not a stretchy. This is like a fabric strap this is stretchy in the cross at the ankle they have they have a tiny bit of wear not too well yeah they do have some wear I'm gonna clean these up with my magic eraser and this is like a faux cork heel you could see like there's some ripples. So I know this is faux cork. This is not true cork. But these look gigantic. On the seven, these look 
Maybe they're, I'm, I want to look. Okay. So, yep, they sent me a size nine. I don't know if you could see that in there, but this is a size seven box. So I don't know if I'll get in touch with them because in all honesty, I'm going to resell them. But I did, you know, ask for a size seven shoe box. But, you know, all in all, once they're cleaned up, perfect season for them. So I don't think that's a bad thing. Okay. So the next pair are made well. I hate the rubber bands. They look like just a pair of leather. Yeah, gen they are definitely leather. Here's the suede inside. I want to check now, make sure these are a seven, seeing that those were a nine. Uh, yeah, they're a seven. So, oh yeah, they say seven on the bottom also. So, just a pair of Madewell leather sandals, ankle strap, flats. I know these will definitely sell. We're definitely in the season, well, uh, coming upon, upon the season of flats and sandals. Well, flats are year-round, but definitely sandals. They do have somewhere, if you could see on the heel, not too bad. To me, I feel like these have a lot of mileage left in them. And they're very versatile. They could go with shorts. They could go with skirts. They could go with jeans, whatever you want. Casual, obviously. I'm going to save those boots because I'm crossing, I mean, like crossing my fingers on this. Because if they, th if they are what I think they are, I'm probably going to keep them. The suspense. Okay, so these are Sam Elderman. I actually had a pair of these same sandals a few years back. Um, Sam Elderman, obviously size seven, not worn, you know, too bad. So I'll list these. And you know what? These were super comfortable. I remember when I had them. But mine were um, brown, actually the same color as the Madewells. They, they were great. I, I love them. I used to wear them all the time, you know, on weekends and when I was out of work. So, yeah, leather thong strap, super cute. The, like, those are like a classic. Pretty much, I feel like they never go out of style. I got a pair of Uggs. <laughs> I got a pair of Uggs. I do not have this color. I'm going to keep them. I, 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 I'm I, excited. There is like a tiny little stain here. Um, as you all know, I, I travel often back home, you know, to New York or New Jersey. There's like no wear on these. This is like awesome. Well, anyway, I traveled back and forth to New Jersey and, and Staten, uh, Staten Island and, you know, Manhattan. Um, and from fall until, I don't know, maybe about April, I wear my Uggs always religiously when I travel to the airport because they're easy on, easy off. It just makes life so much easier and I have a pair of fake Uggs that I love. They're black and those I'll wear in the rain. I, I wear in the snow. It doesn't matter where I wear them because they're not real Uggs. Then I have a nice pair of Uggs that I treated myself. Um, I bought myself a Christmas gift. Not this past Christmas. It was the year before because I couldn't spend time with my family and I was like, oh, I'm not going to get any presents. You know, they, like my daughters, they send me stuff. But I was like, oh, Christmas morning, I'm not going to have anything to open. So I bought myself a pair of Uggs and a couple other things. 
and like the Sadie and Kitty, I wrapped them up. I put them under my little tree and I was like, oh, Merry Christmas to me. But it was awesome because Christmas morning when I'm not up there, my daughter with the kids always sets up her phone so I could see her kids opening. Well, at that, yeah, there were, there were two kids at that time. And um, I always get to see them, you know, get their gifts from, you know, me, their parents, their, uh, you know, and Santa Claus. So I get super excited, even though I'm down here, you know, riding solo on Christmas most of the time. But um, I'm super excited about these. I don't know how my Christmas story got in. But, oh yeah, because I bought myself another pair of Uggs. And then I have, like, I have a nice collection of Uggs and the slippers. So I am definitely, these are not going to be up for sale. So I'm going to show everybody, again, everything. My new pair of Uggs. Oh, by the way. Hey. I didn't get a... They forgot my invoice. I didn't, I didn't see an invoice in here. Usually it's right on top of the paper thinking about it. They didn't give me an invoice. Well, anyway, I paid $34 for this box of five pairs of shoes. To me, just this is worth it. Because if I bought these even in this condition, like on Poshmark, I feel like I would have paid at least $50 for them. So to me, these paid off for me. These are going to go in my closet. I'm going to clean them up a little bit with my suede cleaner, and that's it. Um, these I will be selling. Oh, oh, the rest I will be selling. Um, so if anyone's interested, just shoot me a message because any of my viewers and subscribers, what I tell you, you all is you offer me a reasonable offer, I'm going to accept. Um, I usually ask you if you want to do it on a platform because I feel like you may be more comfortable doing it on a platform, and that's okay. So I usually tell my viewers, pick a pet platform, you know, message, send me a comment so I know that, you know, this is where, you know, where I'm getting the offer from. And I, as long as it's a reasonable offer, I will accept, you know, that offer. Um, I will be starting to do some jewelry videos. So on there, uh, I was up in the air about Etsy, if I should do this, if I should do that. What, what I'm going to do, like in the future, is do like jewelry videos. And I accept PayPal. So... If you want to buy off a platform, it you will get a better deal, and we'll do it through PayPal. So that's that. Um, but like I said, if you're more comfortable, even when I start doing my jewelry videos, if you're more comfortable working on that platform, that's what I'm going to do. So that was my second pair of shoes. Um, those were the Sam Elderman. I got Ugg Sam L. Elderman. I got a pair of Madewell. And these are all size 7 with the exception of these. They're, they're a size 9. And if you are interested in these, I'm going to clean them up before, you know, before I list them for sure. Because they're, they're a little dirty. And then these were, I don't even remember, uh, these were J. Crew. So everybody, thank you for watching. Thank you for joining in. If you're not subscribed please hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. It definitely, definitely helps this channel. So thank you, everyone. Enjoy your day.